welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. First, thanks for everybody that's been uh, donating to the website. I do appreciate it. If you'd like to make a donation, jump over to jackstechcorner.com. Or if you'd like to pick up a copy of the DVD that you've seen on the opening slides, by all means it's well worth it. There's 45 high resolution videos on this DVD and they're all in WMV format or Windows Media Player. It will work on either Windows or Mac or you could even view these things on a Linux computer if you happen to be using Linux and you'd like to watch some of the videos. So with that said, I would like to go ahead and start today's lesson. Today's lesson, we learned a while back on how to um, preserve some color you know, when we change something into black and white. And this is a nice technique that we use. Um, a lot of times we'll use it at weddings, maybe with a bouquet. We'll leave the bouquet colored and everybody else, the bride and everybody would be in black and white. In this case, I want to go ahead and use a baby picture. I thought it would be kind of fun. I took these over the uh, Christmas break or Christmas holiday and um, did some of these in the studio here to get some of these shots of the baby. So I thought we'd go ahead and use those. Let's go ahead and start out by um, showing you how we would normally, uh, or how I showed you before, just as a, uh, a quick update. Now before, the way I've often taught this is to duplicate your background. Okay, we're going to duplicate the background. And we're going to make a selection of the baby. So let's just go select. And we're just going to select the baby here. Just like this. with the hat. You want the hat to be in color also. Okay, let's take some of this away now. And we'll go right around the baby's dress. Closing it up tighter on the bottom. Now normally what I would show you is how to do this uh, this belt buckle is kind of silver, so and let's get a little bit more of the hat. There we go. All right. Now, as you see, I used the quick selection tool, and we made a selection of the baby. Now, ordinarily, the way I would show you how to do this, turn this volume down, this microphone just a little bit, is we would take that that selection. We'd go filter, or I mean select, and we would invert it. Then what we'd do is go to enhance, adjust color, or no, convert to black and white, I'm sorry. And now you can see how it's black and white behind and the baby's in color. We can adjust the reds up. I'll adjust it back. And these are actually adjusting the actual black and white portion contrast we can bring that up if we want or bring it down a little bit make it a little darker the greens and, and actually black and white has a little bit of all these channels in here red the blue and the green and there we go we'll click OK and that will convert it there you go now this is called a destructive way of doing your pictures as you can see here we have a uh, destructive way of doing it if I turn that layer off, turn it back on, everything's black and white. Now there's another way we can go about doing this that's non-destructive. And I want to go ahead and show you how to do that. So let's go ahead. We're going to go select, deselect. And we're going to just trash this layer. Now what we want to do is we're going to put on here an adjustment layer. So go to your layers. Well, first we'll duplicate the background. Control J or Command J on the Mac you're working on the background layer go to layer new adjustment layer now you could definitely go with the hue and saturation and click OK and you can drop the saturation out you can see here we turn to black and white but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go layer new adjustment layer but we're gonna use a gradient map or gradient map Call it gradient one and we're going to pull this down 
use the black and white. This one here looks really good. Uh, we don't want that on. And as you can see now, this is a non-destructive way of doing it. And what I mean by non-destructive is we didn't destroy layer one because if I turn this off, you can see all the colors back. Turn it back on, all the colors back on. Now there's two ways to bring the color out of the portions you want in this picture. One way is to paint right over what you want with black and make sure you're on the gradient map layer. Watch what happens if we're down here and to show you how the, you can do this by accident we have a nice brush we're going to paint watch. Now you see right away that's not going to work because we're painting on the picture itself. Let's go to edit and undo the paintbrush. Make sure you're on your gradient map and what that's going to do if you're on the gradient map this acts as a mask a lot of people have been writing in asking about different types of mask. This is one form of a mask that we can use and we can paint on this gradient map on the mask without destroying the picture. And it's on black and then you just start painting over your subject. And let's edit and undo that. Then all you have to do is just start painting on the image. Okay, we're going to go here and we're going to start painting on the image. And when you paint on this image, what's going to happen is the color is going to start coming back on the baby and the hat. Kind of like we did before, we wanted the baby to be in color, but this is a non-destructive way of doing it. Because again, if you mess up and you say, well, I really don't like it, all you got to do is if you click this layer mask or the gradient map off, the picture's right back. Now this is a nice way to do it and you'll get pretty good at this, but let's say you make a mistake. Let's say, oh, oh man, I went up there and I went up there. Oh, that's terrible. That looks awful. I got to start over. Now hold on. You don't have to start over. Here's what you want to do. Remember, black reveals the color on a white map. White will hide it because it'll blend in with the white. Let's just flip this arrow around here. Now the white's the foreground color. And now watch, if we paint over our mistake, the mistake goes away. Nice, quick, and easy. Easy way to fix that. Now this is okay if you have a steady hand or a uh, Wacom tablet uh, or Wacom, uh, as some people pronounce it on the internet. But you can definitely get the effect you want just by going over here. But let me show you one easier way to do this that I kind of like to do. I think it's a little quicker anyway. Let's go ahead and destroy this layer. Go back to layer, new adjustment layer, gradient map again. All right, there's our black. What you want to do this time, instead of painting, let's go to our quick selection tool. Let's go ahead and select the baby again like we did before. And we're going to select the baby here. Now if you get the whole thing selected, remember that's okay. Because if you go up here and hit the negative or the minus, that will subtract from the selection. So now we go right around the baby's hat again. Just work your way down around the outline of the baby. Or whatever you're working on. Could be any subject. Let's go down around here. Go right down around here. Cut this bottom portion off. Cut this off. Once you get okay with your selection brushes, you're going to find that this is probably an easier way. Unless you have a real steady hand. I want to add a little bit, so I want to make sure this dress is in here. Once we have the baby actually selected here, or your subject, whatever you may be working on, all you have to do then is use the paint bucket. Because we're going to fill this with black. So I'll just go inside my selection and click the mouse. And there you go. I go select, deselect. Now I got it nice crisp and only the babies in color. I didn't go outside my lines because I wasn't painting. And like I said, it's non-destructive because that layer, if we delete the layer, 
or if we shut it off, it deletes the effect. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I'm going to call this one uh, Color on Black and White. So, um, if you enjoyed this tutorial and you'd like to see uh, 45 uh, other tutorials in high resolution video, uh, not high definition, just really, really good resolution, uh, you view them on your computer, you can pause them and stop them whenever you feel like it. Please go to jackstechcorner.com and pick up a copy today. It's only $15. It's well worth the time and effort to uh, click the PayPal button and go ahead and pick up a copy. So until next time, keep those shutters clicking, keep the editors editing. I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.